Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. so excited that you're here today we have a really great video um, this is gonna be so fun because one of the most requested videos I get is people want to see my closet which it wasn't much to see before but now I have a new closet and I actually got some professional help to help me organize it and it looks amazing I'm so excited to show it to you guys so come on in So welcome to my dream closet and I want to introduce you to the magician who made this magic happen. This is Megan from About Space Organizing and she literally organized this entire closet pretty much in like a day. It was incredible because the before was crazy. I think I have a picture that I can show. Yeah, so Megan's gonna give us a little tour and tell us some organizing tips and tricks that you can use in your own closet. So uh, Rochelle and Mike had just moved in and as you know, if you have moved, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. So really the biggest thing was getting like with like and I push that all the time. So all your blouses together, all your heels together, etc. Um, and then once you put all like with like, then you find a home for everything. And that's what I've done here. They're all the blouses together, all of the gorgeous, gorgeous skirts are together, <laughs> all of the dresses are together. And then once I get them all together I love to organize by amount of material and what I mean by that is if we're working with blouses then you start with the tank tops it has the least amount of material then we go to t-shirts then we go to three-quarter sleeve then we go to long sleeve because that way Rochelle can find everything that she wants as soon as she wants it because she knows where it's located and it's with its friends basically and one thing I really loved about working with Megan is that she wasn't like the type of organizer that was like throw everything away or like we can get rid of like half of this stuff. I think when you're looking for an organizer, you should probably find someone that's going to work with like your lifestyle and kind of like what your goal is because I can't get rid of everything. I wouldn't like have a job anymore. <laughs> Well, so. that's so true because really you have to identify with your professional organizer and they have to get you because yes, it's wonderful to have this for Pinterest, for Instagram, etc. But if it doesn't work for you, then it's not going to work yeah. and it will become a mess. So really like taking it into consideration how you live your life, what your job is, um, what you need, how quickly you need to get out the door, do the things that you do is really, really important. And I'm not I mean organizer lady who's like throw away everything because yeah. this is your whole life. Yeah. Like clothing and fashion and jewelry, like you need to be able to put your finger on it when you need to. And yeah. that's what I really tried to make happen. Yeah, so she did such an amazing job. We, I think my favorite part are like the blazers and the suits because they're just like all color coordinated and they look so pretty. And then I love all the dresses, like all the brights in the colors. It just looks so good. And it actually is so easy to find everything because like we packed to go like on a quick like weekend getaway and it was so easy to pack because we could just find everything. What else should we look at? Oh, the drawers. The drawers oh, too, yeah. Uh, you have a pretty amazing, gorgeous jewelry collection. <laughs> and I wanted to be able to show all of it together at once. So I want her to be able to open up both drawers and be like, okay, here are here are these like black earrings that I want, you know, and like have the array of all of the colors of all of the earrings. And also using product um, that fits the earrings because a lot of times, a lot of these like velvet lined products, they are for teeny tiny little earrings yes. and they don't always fit in your drawer. So I use um, clear acrylic uh, to organize jewelry and I've just found over and over again, like you can really fit it to every drawer and every type of jewelry that you have. Yeah, and that's something I definitely would have never thought of because I always see the velvet things mm -hmm. and I'm like, my jewelry is not gonna fit in here. Like my earrings are six inches long. Like they don't fit in those things. Um, so she had some really great ideas for like how to organize everything. And that's why I called her. <laughs> 
And then um, she like folded all the jeans and put them in the drawer all nice and neat and everything looks so good. And the, um, what else? Well, file folding oh, is yeah, a big thing. Folding, yeah. So I am not someone who says you should, you know, fold your t-shirt 18 ways because really ain't nobody got time for that. So what I do is I do a regular fold and then fold it in half and then file it. And that way you can see every single t-shirt. And I love to have the logo face up if you have logo tees. So then you can just pull that out. So maybe you have 16 black tees. Yeah. They're all different because of the logo. So fold it up, file it, and then you can see which one you want and pull it right out. Just like you're filing paper from like hanging folders. Yeah. Can you show us how to do the t-shirt? Yeah. Please. Okay. So file folding I'll is instead of folding this way, it goes this way. And the way you do that is you give it a good shake, fold it in like this. And this is how most people fold, but I'm just asking for one more fold. Boom. Just like that. And then you put your hand in here and slide it in. Okay, so one thing I love to say when you are blessed with an overabundance of fabulous footwear is um, you can get a lot more shoes in a line if you put one foot forward. So the interior of the left foot, the toe go of the right foot goes into that shoe. So you have one about three inches forward and then you can really line up your shoes that way um, and get probably one or two pairs more in a line than you would regularly if you're putting them just straight side by side. And then also Megan used these really awesome drop down shoe boxes from Container Store. Um, and it made everything look super neat. And you can actually, a hack that she showed me was putting stacking shoes on top. So you take the box and then you put a pair of shoes on top and that way you can get more shoes on the shelf. Because a lot of these custom cabinets are made really for handbags, but you can double them as shoes and double your space with that drop down, um, drop down bin from the shoe bin from the container store. And it comes in different sizes, so you can get <laughs> men's. I guess the men's are like the large yes. size, yep. and then the women's are the regular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there's also um, the scubs that I use from Ikea inside drawers. If you use bins inside drawers, then it's super helpful to separate the types of clothing, clothing that you have in drawers. So we use so. that for the t-shirts mm -hmm. and for like socks. socks, underwear. Yep, camisoles, yeah. scarves. Really any type of clothing that ends up being folded could go in a scub and be separate and be filed. It has a nice like presentation too. Yeah, it, does. <laughs> it looks really good. And then also the double hanger trick for the long skirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just loop, you take one, if you have a long flowy dress, you take one hanger, hang it up, and then pull that hanger through the other hanger and then fold it onto itself. And then your skirts and long flowy dresses don't hit the ground because, you know, closets get dusty. No matter how clean and tidy you are, like it all attracts dust, so you don't want that to get on your clothing. When I organize, I ask a ton of questions and I always say it's not because I'm nosy or because I want you to throw things away. It's because I want to know how you live your life and I want people to think about their things differently. Oh, well, I use these Louboutins. I wear them all the time. They need to go closer to you. Um, if they are, if they're, you know, boots or something that you're not you don't love but they're really beautiful they might go up high you only wear them like once a year um really the idea is to make sure that she can have everything that she wants when she wants it and see everything i'm a real big fan of seeing the entire selection in one fell swoop so megan also got these really cool sunglass cases and it's just like a great way to display your sunglasses um, but you can actually like see all of them and they even have a top so you could probably stack them too, right? You probably could, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's really cool and then also my contribution were the velvet hangers which I already had those because they're really space saving um, and they look good when you have them all like the same color. Yeah, so I think that's it. It looks so amazing. And I'm so thankful that Megan did this because it was such a task and I just could not do it <laughs> at all. Well, I, I, 
I DM'd you a year ago because yeah. I was like, hey, my name is Megan from About Space Organizing. I want to do your closet. Can we talk? Yeah, we actually didn't really have like a closet. I mean, I did have a closet, but it was so small. So I was like, I don't need, there's nothing to do here. There's nothing to, <laughs> nothing to, to see here. here. So I'm so lucky and happy that you called me because um, this is a dream closet and it was so fun. And you made my dreams come true. Yes. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit Megan up if you're in the Little Rock area or surrounding areas and you can fly her out. She can be flewed out um, and she can organize a space for you. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll have more home updates coming soon. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.